This morning is from Psalms 8. We are starting from verse 3 up to verse 8. Psalms 8 from verses 3 up to verse 8. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them, you have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with the glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the world, the birds of the sky, in the sky, and the fish in the sea, all that swim in the path of the seas. The word of God is helping to explain this theme that you mean a great deal to God. You who struggles with inferiority complex, I want you to know what God says about you according to the psalmist. You mean a great deal to God. Mankind is a special creation by God. Why? Because one, God made you and I in his own image. And there was no point in Satan to deceive Eve by saying, if you eat that fruit, you'll be like God. And yet Eve and Adam were made in the image of God already. Two, God made us to be rulers over the earth and subdue the earth. And the purposes for which God made us is so great that we should begin to recognize ourselves. And my point that I want to raise with you are only three. And number one point is that God recognizes us and cares for us. The provider of every daily needs. The one who watches over us on a daily basis without failure. This one that we need to understand is that God thinks about us. And the Bible says we are carved in the palms of his hands. We are so much in focus with God. That God went ahead to make covenants with mankind. And ever since Abraham, God has been so faithful to the covenants that he has made with mankind. Second point I want you to get to know also is that God has honored mankind. God has honored you. God has honored me. You do know that even if you are made of flesh and blood, we still have, have the capacity to communicate with God. We can commune with God. Threefold, we are body, soul, and spirit. And God is spirit. So our spiritual part of us, which is a very essence of humanity has a capacity to commune with God and therefore that makes us totally different from other creation. We are, we are not treated as nobody by God. Why? Because every person created by God is created for a purpose. We are created for a purpose. God knows us and he knew us before we are conceived in our mother's womb he spoke to Jeremiah in chapter 1, verse 5. He said, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I already called you to be a prophet to the nations. There is a purpose for which each one of us is created. No one, you and I, no one came by an accident. God has plans for each one of us. Even if you are born out of wedlock, you are not an accident. The problem may belong to your parents, but not to you. You are born out of wedlock. God, who has made you to be who you are, has a reason. And therefore, there is no way to feel inferior. 
and there sometimes we are teased and tossed about by community that oh you are born of wedlock so you are substandard no you are not we are never accidents the lord watches us our going in our coming out he follows very carefully he follows every day and so then you can be confident to know that i never i'm lost and i'm never lost in the radar of the lord god almighty he always looks at me he always follows what i'm doing and then thirdly god has made you and i to be rulers of his creation god has made you and i to be rulers of his creation he has given us authority as mankind to rule you have got royalty in you a ruler over everything that he has we are not just rulers but we are rulers who are stewards even in the days of old during the old testament the kings were not absolute kings the kings rule under god and therefore they were stewards and this speaks itself from the first original assignment given to mankind you are going to be looking after the creation you are a steward you should extend the kingdom of god on earth the rule of god on earth and we are never on us we are only servants of the king who created and owns the creation on planet earth where he put us when satan tempted the first man to disobey god the, the first man failed so was his wife but god still restored what satan stole from the first man God brought it back and tomorrow I'm going to deal with that more seriously. God took away from the the thief, the devil, what he stole from human being which was the authority to rule. Because then originally God made human being to rule over the birds of the air, over the fish in the waters, and over the animals because you are royalty in the sight of God. Let no one deceive you. You are so important therefore. I give you 3 points I want you to keep in your heart. If you feel inferior in any way, know that that is a lie because it's not true. Two, God will make you into a person with a mission no matter how long it takes. For now you may never see your mission, but that doesn't matter. God is at work in the purposes of your life. Three, do not listen to public opinion, but listen to your creator. The public can say what they like but listen to the creator and then finally you are a winner and not a loser you are not a loser you are a winner in life in Jesus name amen for all that you done I give you thanks for favor and grace I give you thanks supernatural life For loving me, Lord, you have done with me. I stand in awe of you. You have done with me. I stand in. you